We came, we saw, we conquered. The castle of Kirkasan. Undestructible, like forever. I'm Mr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you give me one million dollars. That traffic light comes back from the 13th century. They had electricity back then, right? I mean, how else was the princess supposed to use her blow dryer? Right, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Back on the road again. We had a pleasant sleep. The sun is already up. Early in the morning. And we had a little bit of fun. <laughs> Once I know for sure, French people like to party. <laughs> and now, let's ride some bikes. We finally reached Carcassonne and of course we pay nothing to park our bikes. Please. As they say in France, what? we pay oh. we pay el nothing el pay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is cool. Ah. Oh. There it is. First view of the castle. It has like 52 towers like that. We have reached the main entrance of the castle. The castle. Come with me, I'm gonna show you around. Castle of Carcassonne. Nice. Going through the gates. The thrilling history of the city of Carcassonne began before more than 3000 years. Like, that's a lot of years. First, there was a medieval village built which nowadays is still inhabited and has 52 towers 52 with two concentric walls 3 km in length Whoa! You would think this is only for peasants but no if you come with a car you have to wait it's still red Whoa. And something interesting the city inside was the most beautiful one in South France. Jaina, stay away from that shop. I know. <laughs> oh, Jaina, what's your favorite shop in Kirkasan? 
Uh, little Julie. Oh, mm. why is that? Because I got a purse and a billfold and a change purse and an eyeglass case and a wallet. I'm so happy. I got a present for Mike and I also got a little zipper pouch and a wristlet. Yeah. I, uh, it's a nice leather shop. I love that leather. There it is, we're gonna cross the bridge and go into the last resort. And that's me inside a castle. And yet, the history of the indestructible castle began in 1226, with at that time the King of France, Saint Louis. After rebuilding the castle into a masterpiece of military architecture and turning it into the largest medieval military fortress in Europe, it was undefeatable to the last day of its glory in 18th century. Bam! Headshot. Well, it's nice for protection, but guess what? Ugh. It must be really good to go inside and try shoot somebody. Ugh, damn, my phone is stuck. After that, there were no wars in this area and the castle was pretty much abandoned. What a pity. That's tower number 32. So much stairs! Ugh. I'm inside of the tower. When you're in the tower and you get thirsty, you just go outside at the vineyard and pick a wine. Yeah! The castle is nowadays on UNESCO World Heritage and welcomes more than 1 million people annually. Wow, that, wow that's a lot of people annually. I'm still in the castle, lost somewhere on the way. But it's so nice, I don't care. You have to be careful, pigeons are all over the place. They may hit ya. Hello, Mr. Pigeon. And I feel safe in this castle. Inside the city walls, there's as well a theater, the theater of J. de Champ. It's now it's <laughs> selfie time. Ooh, I'm free man now. Prepare to be amazed. And the angel says, a pigo. Basilica. Inside the city walls, there is the Basilica of Saint Nazar, made with stained glass windows.
course. I wish myself. And this is the Basilica of Carcassonne. Who? They're building a bridge to the sky, or a ladder to the sky, and he, and and Tigger says, "I came, I sawed, I hammered." Oh. <laughs> That's it, we go now. We saw the castle. I had a nice time, really nice time. <sighs> and now I need to take a shower. We're off to have duck. Woo! That was our private spot for the day at Kirkson's castle. We met some British friends and now we're off to have duck. Quick, quick. We hope on the way back that we don't quack up. <laughs> Today was a real long journey, so we managed still to come back to the same campground. That's and a, the same camping spot. In the same camping spot. It's like a real progress, isn't it? Uh -huh. we, we've gone today so far, I think, nine miles. It was exhausting. We had to stop again. <laughs> yeah, but it's all familiar, right? <laughs> So we stay at a camp rich. and I'm having cassoulet. The, the you wonder what it is? That's a duck. And, and that's quite big. Nevertheless, I ordered some potatoes as well, some fries. Continue with your impersonations. Okay, little girl getting off the school bus. Bus driver, bus driver, open the door! Little Tommy in the lunchroom can't find his spoon. I can't find my spoon anywhere. Has anybody seen it? <laughs> <laughs> These are our French neighbors. Well, lucky me, church is closed. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this for a while. If you don't want to miss my adventures, please give me thumbs up and subscribe. Just do it.